We want to just take a, a quick moment to welcome you and tell you a little bit of things uh, about opensource.com. If you haven't had a chance to stop by the booth yet, I like to describe opensource.com as an online community and publication talking about and highlighting how open source is changing the world. And we like to collect your stories and we're going to tell you uh, about ways that you can contribute. Um, there are quite a few ways you can contribute. You can actually ping us on uh, any of our social networks if you have questions. You can email us at open at opensource.com. You can submit. We have a web, web form online that will ask you a few questions and help walk you through the process of drafting um, an outline idea, and it's opensource.com slash story. And you can also find us and some of our community moderators hanging out in Freenode IRC on opensource.com. A few reasons why you should contribute. Um, We've had stories of people that have written for us that have gotten a job because of what they've written, so that's really cool. Um, you can elevate your own personal profile, grow your network. Uh, we do a lot of interview series on the site and connect you with, um, with people throughout the open source community. Uh, it's a different way to contribute back to open source. A lot of folks kind of default uh, to thinking that um, most of the contributions have to be code related. So this is a way to actually help market your projects and get some more visibility onto them. Uh, our team provides editorial services, so if, you're, if English is not your first language or if you don't feel like a strong writer, we can help improve, um, those, uh, improve your writing. A couple folks think that we're lovable. We get hugs at our booth uh, very often, and uh, we just think it's, it's really easy to write for us. So I think the biggest barrier that we see uh, with, um, with getting contributions is people just don't know that they can contribute their story. And so uh, a few quick success stories. Hopefully most of you were here yesterday to hear Jim Whitehurst, the CEO of Red Hat, talk about his book, The Open Organization. We saw a great opportunity to expand our editorial content and talk about open source and leadership. And so we uh, launched a new section earlier this year that's talking about um, a lot of the principles uh, in, the, in the open organization. We had a community called B-Code that published an article with us uh, in January of this year. And their project was basically, uh, their investors of the project weren't going to open source the code base until they hit 10,000 users. So you can see on the graph here where, they, uh, where the, we published the article and their user rate uh, skyrocketed. And so their investors actually decided to, uh, to open source the code base because they had so much momentum. Now we can't guarantee that for every single project, but here's a great example of a successful one. We're also able to cover a nice wide range of um, stories and um, contributions from people from all around the world. One story we did a couple months ago was an interview with Patricia Torvalds. Um, her father is the creator of uh, Linux, in case you haven't, you're not familiar with Linus Torvalds. Um, but she just graduated from high school recently. She's attending Duke. And we sent her an interview. And um, it was really interesting to see her answers because as a high schooler, she gave us some um, perspective on what's actually working that we don't hear about sometimes. For example, in her interview, she told us that um, being acknowledged in high school and getting an award for some computing science project that she did and then having access to a network of other women in tech had really worked well for her. And then to follow up for that story, I have been to several events since then where attendees, I've overheard them talking or they've come up to me and said how inspiring it was to see the next generation, um, you know, testifying that, that these things that we're doing that we never hear the results of are actually working. And uh, so this is one of the many success stories you'll find on our site, and we'd like to hear more of yours also. So thank you, and enjoy the rest of the lightning talks. Thank you.